Hey guys, it's Carnage 6 back again with another review, and this time we have the Gremlins Combat Gizmo figure by NECA Toys. Now I'm a huge fan of Gremlins, I have been since I was a kid, I love the movies, and this is from the second Gremlins movie. Now when I first saw that they were going to make this figure, I knew I had to have it. I haven't even gotten any of the other Gremlins figures by NECA, but when I saw this I knew it was a must have. And who knows, now I might get some more. If you don't know anything about the Gremlins movies, in the second movie, Gizmo kind of gets sort of abused by the other Gremlins, and he kind of gets pushed too far, and that's when he turns into Combat Gizmo. Well, he's really it's really Rambo Gizmo. If you've seen the movie, you know why he's Rambo Gizmo, but obviously they couldn't put that on the package because all the rights issues and everything. So... They just call him Combat Gizmo, but anyway, in the movie, he decides to go and get his revenge on the Gremlins. Alright, so with all that said, let's take him out and have a look at him. Well, now that we have Rambo Gizmo out of his box, I have to say, he looks quite amazing. Even though I'm a huge Gremlin fan, the reason that I didn't get into this line before was because the old... Gizmo figure back in, I don't know, maybe five years ago or so that NECA made looked really bad. The head was oversized, the body was a weird shape. It looks to me in this new series that they finally got that fixed and he actually does look like Gizmo. All the details on him are amazing. The sculpting is amazing. The sculpting of the fur, the ears, the little... Rambo uh, bandana there is all top-notch. Now two things I wanted to point out. Although his bandana up here looks like it's cloth, of course it isn't because it wouldn't be able to stay on his head if it was. It is uh, plastic and it's just glued on because it kind of just sits on top of his head. So if it wasn't glued, it would just slide right off. And the cool thing that I noticed is that his belt here, it is actually real rope. I wasn't expecting that, but that's a cool touch. Now, let's check out Gizmo's articulation. His head does spin 360, and there is up and down and side to side movement, which is pretty nice. His ears do feature a little bit of articulation. It's hard to see, but um, they kind of wiggle. They go up and down and wiggle back and forth kind of a little bit. The arms, there's not much articulation, but there is some. They go in and out a little bit, and they do spin 360. Like so. And the top of the arm here, it does feature, again, a little bit of articulation. I don't know if you can see that, but it does It does move. The hand here does spin 360 as well. There is no waist articulation. But his feet do feature articulation, but is very limited. Um, it looks like it should be able to go in and out here, like his legs, like that. But I can't get them to move, and I'm not going to force them. So basically all you get is a little bit, a really little tiny bit of back and forth movement, hardly anything. Like I can't get that to move and with my track record with NECA toys, I don't want to like pull it back because the joint here is probably going to snap. So I'm going to have to say that articulation is very limited, but for me that's okay because this guy is just going to sit on my shelf and as long as he looks cool, which he does, I'm okay with it. Now there is one more joint of articulation which I did not bring up and this is something that's common to all the new uh, NECA Gremlin figures or at least the Mogwai figures. They all feature articulation in their eyes. Yes, that's right, in their eyes. Now if you turn him to the back you'll see that he has this little thing here and you take that out and there's a little ball here. Now this ball controls his eyes. So when you move this ball like that back and forth and stuff his eyes move, which is pretty cool. So see, you can have him look. Here, let me hold his head here. Have him look side to side. And up around and around. So that is pretty awesome. You usually only see stuff like this on um, very expensive Hot Toys figures. So it's pretty cool to get it with these uh, Gremlin figures. I like that a lot. Now for his accessories. Gizmo comes with two items that are very iconic to the Gremlins 2 movie. The first, and I don't know if you can see it, 
is his uh, bow and arrow that he fashioned out of a paperclip and elastic band. Um, the only thing I have a problem with is that, uh, as you can see, it's well, it doesn't go in his hand too well. That it makes it look like he's holding it correctly. You know, you can't do the the whole um, pose with the bow and arrow, kind of pulling it back, that kind of thing, because of the articulation. And this hand here is sculpted really close, so it's, it was hard to get this thing in here. And because it's made of plastic, it kind of warped it. So I really don't like that. So you can see how, you know, how bendy this plastic is. It was like, I don't know why they just didn't use real metal. Probably because of cost. They could have put a real metal paperclip in there. And I will touch on that subject in a little bit. But anyway, the other accessory he comes with is his arrow here. Um, which in the movie was fashioned out of, I believe, a liquid paper bottle and a uh, pencil. So that's pretty cool. But again, because of the articulation, and, and like this, this, see this hand isn't even open. You can't really put it anywhere. Because of the articulation, you can't get them holding it like he should, like he's going to fire it, just like in the movie. So that's kind of a disappointment in my book, but it was cool of them to include it. You just can't pose them correctly with it. Now, as I said, with his accessories, it would have been cool if they included a real metal paper clip like he used in the movie, like this one. Now, I'm going to tell you first off that this is too big to be in scale with him, but I mean, it'll still look better than what NECA included, this crappy, crappy plastic thing that so bendy you can't even do anything with it. So what we do if we want to make one is just like Gizmo in the movie, you just take it and you unbend it like that. And there you have Gizmo's bow and arrow. Well, hang on a second. Okay, now see, once you have the metal paper clip, you take your elastic band here and you go like this and like that. Of course, I think Gizmo actually tied it in the movie at both ends. So there, now we have an actual, well, this is actually the one that Gizmo made in the movie. As you can see, it's kind of way too big to be in scale with him. So if you can find a smaller one of these at your local office supply store, then this would be perfect to replace the crappy one that came with the NECA one. So overall, I think this figure is fantastic. Now don't get me wrong, it's not perfect. There's a lot of things that I don't like about this figure. First off, the good things, the sculpt is amazing. It really does look like Gizmo. It really does look like Rambo Gizmo from the second movie. I really like the fact that they took the extra time to make the belt actually rope instead of just making it plastic. That was pretty awesome. And again, if you're just looking for that iconic Rambo Gizmo from the second movie, this is the best figure out there. No doubt about it. Now onto the bad things. Articulation is kind of limited, which makes doing the pose from the movie of him actually, you know, holding the bow in a shooting position, it makes it impossible. That's what I really don't like. That's kind of the reason I bought the figure. I also don't like that the hands are not sculpted to hold anything and you have to struggle to get them in there. They could have been posed in a certain way to allow you to hold the bow, but they're just, they're almost like posed completely closed. Only this hand right here is slightly open and even when you try to get this bow in there, it's a, it's a fight. The other thing is why didn't they make this actually metal? If they made this rope, then why not make this actually metal? That would have been amazing. And, you know, I would have, wouldn't have even probably cared about the articulation because of that. But again, maybe try going to a local business supply store and find one of those uh, paper clips that they use in the actual movie in a, 
in a smaller size like this and you'll be good to go. I also like the fact that the eyes are articulated. Now, some positions when you're moving them around, they don't look good and you have to be careful because I know the first series suffered from eyeballs that would go out of alignment. So I think they fixed that with this series, but just be careful. So all in all, even though I have some minor problems with the figure, I still think if you're a Gremlins fan, if you're a fan of Rambo Gizmo from the second movie, you gotta pick up this figure. It is sculpted amazingly, it looks exactly like he does in the second movie, and I'm, overall I'm happy with the figure. Just those little problems that made me a little bit disappointed, but I can live with it, I suppose. I just might not choose to display him with these accessories because he can't really even hold them anyway. Which is kind of a shame, but I still say for the price that they're going for, which at this time is retail price about 15 to 20 bucks, he's worth a pickup. So anyway, that's all for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see ya.